I think wait, wages are wages are very low. I mean, since 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 you know records were first um, commenced in the early eighties, you know, mm. Cornwall's been at or 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 around you know the bottom of the earnings league table mm. as far as government figures are concerned. And um, and for those that's why our tax cuts in April are important. Exactly, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, no, we, um, you know, places like this you uh, uh, disproportionately benefit from from the. From taking people out of tax altogether, I mean, we've got larger, you know, larger numbers benefit from that. But still, and, and a lot of people who who, who are dependent on what quite a sort of seasonal rhythm to some of the work. Certainly, yeah. anything to do with the hospitality. Yeah. Now, the employers amongst you and others, um, do you all have sort of quite strong relationships with 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 the college already? Oh yeah, faithfully yeah. times. Yeah. Um, we now had a relationship for about three years. Mm -hmm. And what's been important for us has been to work with the college in a way where the college have created bespoke training for our existing staff. We went through a restructure led by Zara a couple of years ago and um, it really made a difference to the confidence that people had at the end of that process, both in their own ability, the sense of value that they had, mm -hmm. and also has had a massive impact Did on... Do you seek out the college, or will they seek you out, or...? Have you? I can't actually remember. I think you it probably seeked us out, actually. Um, we, we, we work very closely with the creative skills mm. um, sector within Cornwall, and yes, we did seek, seek you out. We mm. had some, some funding that we needed to spend with creative businesses, and... Um, that's actually how we met the Tate and how we met the Hall for Cornwall as well, to develop the creative sector. And from your point of view, since that started, what, what, what does the relationship consist of? Um, that was about 2009, 10, yeah. about that. Um, since then, we've kept the lines of communication open, but there hasn't been another bespoke program. Right, right, right. Um, it was a brilliant program, uh, absolutely, uh, Truro College, design something that worked for us cross-departmentally, because we're a theatre, people tend to have very, very specific um, at work. Um, but right now, we are, um, we are looking at apprenticeships and we're looking at how to grow that. We don't have an apprentice yet. We've been talking about it for two years. We've been talking about it with lots of higher education uh, um, outlets. Um, and there are problems, because Halton and Cornwall may be a big theatre, but it's also a charity. Mm. Um, and if we balance the books at the end of the year, that's a success mm. if we just break even. And even though apprenticeship wages are low, mm. uh, there is more to consider than just the, the salary, because we're so streamlined, we are so, so time poor that it's difficult to make sure that the apprentice gets a good experience, that there was time to train, that there's time to mentor, that mm. there's time to design a program. So, um, Which you think you might um, uh, Absolutely, um, and 13, 14 mm. is the time we are going to grab good. that particular bull by the We're massively expanding across the country in the number of apprenticeships on a huge level, but I think there's sort of bumps and scrapes along the way when you expand <coughs> across Cornwall, it's expanded by about mm. 50, 60 percent, mm. but we need to hear from you about what, yeah. what works and what doesn't well, work. Well, and what, and what needs to happen in order, yeah. to, in order to kind of make the difference between taking an apprentice on and, and not, and, and, and presumably also doing it um, you know, in a manner that, that that actually reassures the apprentice that there is a you know both a job and career in it as well. That it's not just a, a stopgap. Just not interested that the, the students amongst you. Did, um, we're sort of politicians. We're terribly keen that um, people should attach real esteem and value to apprenticeships, as you know they've done successfully in other countries. That it's a you know, it's a valued, recognised thing to do. It's partly why we're sort of <coughs> pouring a lot of money into it. Do, do, you, do you think? Um, when you talk to your, to your friends and your mates, do, do, does, does doing an apprenticeship now seem like a more natural step than it might have done a few years ago? Is that what you... I think it's more natural than it was a few years ago. I yeah. think it's come a long way. I think there's still, mm. still a long way to still go. Still a long sure, way sure, to sure. go, yeah. Yeah, but I think the awareness is, is raising Good. constantly. Oh, even even yeah. the past two, two years especially, it's been definitely a lot more recognised. Yeah, I think what we find is it's parents that are more reticent yes. than young people. Yes, no, 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 no. And, and what's your uh, yes, disability, uh, disability Cornwall? Um, what I wanted to say to you was that our, we, all of our permanent staff have benefited greatly this year from being put through the ILM training, which was subsidised. Um, um, Institute, Institute of Leadership Management, of course, uh, which obviously, yeah. yes, uh, with, with Penn of College. And obviously that has meant that we've been able to improve the skills of our staff and develop them further. And that has led to us being awarded the gold 
award for investors in people, uh, which of course, as you can probably be aware, there's only 3% of organisations that apply for it to actually achieve it. So it's giving us a higher profile as an organisation. But obviously what we're also concerned about is the future of that, because there is, we've heard that there are get the subsidies for um, training may be taken away, and so we're concerned subsidised training for for post over 25 could be taken away by the government um, and that if that happens it's obviously going to add to the storm of problems that people with young people and well, all people with disabilities are presently facing in that we're being reassessed by ATOS constantly, DLA is changing, housing benefits etc are training and th those things are changing and if that now changes in terms of disability um, support for young people trying to get in to do apprenticeships and training, that's just going to be momentously catastrophic yet again. Obviously it affects all of these students if they're post-25, if they're going to use, lose subsidies, how are they going to manage to do training? I, 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 I'm just not, I think I'm what Sharon said is, uh, is the, um, the career loans that are coming in in September Yeah. for, for level three and above training. Yes. That's yes. Right. Which is obviously what it was a level three. Yeah. It was a level three I can find out more and then get say, back I mean, to you. If, if Sharon, if you, if, if you and I perhaps sort of, um, you know, take some notes, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll come back and also. Because you know, I know we made, I know we made an, uh, uh, <coughs> quite a significant adjustment to the post twenty five training support a loan system. Mm. Yes. Um, a few months ago, which was widely welcomed, I think there was a feeling that, but I don't, I, f f forgive me, I just, si just simply can't remember the precise detail, but if I can, yeah. with Andrew, get back to you. I'll yeah, mm. that's very the, timely. The, 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 intention, <laughs> the intention as ever is to try and balance the books, um, but, but also do that without, without restricting opportunity, but it depends very much how the loans work, and I think that's probably where I need to get back to you.